What's up everyone back for another beer review and today is a continuation of mix six pack theme month here on the channel and it's day six and the beer I'm reviewing today comes from the Blue Point Brewing Company and they're out of Patchogue, New York and this is their toasted lager. So they're calling this an American style amber lager comes in at 5.5% alcohol by volume, 28 IBUs in the time of review. This can is just over one month old. So it's been quite a while since I've had a, a Blue Point beer period. It's been probably at least four years. And to be honest with you, this was one of the first uh, Blue Point beers I had. And I actually liked it. It was one of the first craft lagers I ever tried, like after Sam Adams, Boston Lager and whatnot. And I enjoyed it. Had such a you know a distinct taste com in comparison to like, you know, a macro lager. Um, I haven't had this in quite a while. Not since they've been, I don't think, I, I'm trying to think when they were, they were bought out by uh, AB and Bev, uh, but I don't remember what year that was, but I don't think I've had a beer since that happened. Uh, maybe right around there was the last time I had it. And I'm not buying their beer because AB and Bev bought them. I just haven't had a beer since then. More often than not, you find their beers in uh, like grocery stores around here, um, not usually at a lot of the local bottle shops. So when I was doing the mix of six pack, I was like, hey man, Blue Point, Toasted Lager. I've had, I haven't had this one probably in honestly like six, seven, maybe eight years. Uh, so it's been a while since I've had this one. So I thought I'd revisit it and it makes perfect sense during the theme week. So yeah, anyway, let's crack this one open, see what we got going on. I was surprised at how fresh it was too. It was just over a month old. So I was like, yeah, nice. Anyone anyway, let's give this a pour. Yeah, so pouring out like uh, you would expect an amber lager to pour out. So what color is that? Well, I would say it's amber. Yeah, that is an amber, like really golden. Uh, yeah, it's like a really dark golden, almost golden orange. So amber is appropriate. Uh, you know, pretty filtered, a little bit of probably chill haze. This is about 15, 20 minutes out of the fridge. It uh, has about a two finger of this cream colored, almost a light tan head. Very fluffy looking, almost creamy. Yeah, plays the role of what I'm looking for out of an American amber lager. Let's get a nose on it. Yeah, that's that's a little bit. That's a, the one thing I remember about this is a little bit sweeter when it comes to a lager. I'm getting like this red apple core, a little bit of hop character, like red apple core. What is that? It's maybe like a nondescript citrus. But then there's huge malt character. This one it has you know caramel, a lot of caramel, a lot of toasted grain. A little bit of a grassiness as well. Yeah, it smells good. It smells, listen, if you're going to pick up a beer that says toasted lager and it's an American amber lager, I think this is kind of what you're looking for. Um, it has pretty much the characteristics that I'd want. It uh, doesn't seem to be any off flavors. Yeah, it smells pretty good. Let's get into it. Cheers, everyone. That's extremely clean. Wow. I could throw back a lot of these. So the taste is nothing like overly impressive. This is not super complex. It's not me meant to be, you know, it's, the, it's the, the style would indicate that you're looking for something super easy to drink. Five and a half percent. So let's start with the body. This is like lower side of medium body. It's not straight up watery, 5.5%. I was hoping that it wouldn't be watery and it's not. Uh, it's like higher side of light body, lower side of medium body. It's appropriate. The uh, <laughs> the mouthfeel itself, it's not really super crisp like you would expect from a lager. It doesn't have like that biting carbonation or like that really crisp um, aspect to it, but it's slightly crisp. It's really clean. That was the first thing I said like when it went down. There's like no residual flavors or anything. It's just like, boom, done. Like you drank it, you're done. Like there's nothing hanging around in the back end. And this is really refreshing, super crushable. The taste kind of follows the nose. Toasted bread, definitely like toasted brown bread up front. And, and it has a nice distinct toastiness to it, which is nice. It says toasted lager. And it kind of has, and I'm not, I'm not saying that because it says toasted lager. It has a toasted bread quality to this one, toasted brown bread. There's caramel, slight hints of toffee, that red apple core I was talking about, a slight like citrus peel. It's very minute in this one. It's not like, you know, in your face and that's, you don't want it in this style. It says finish is super clean. There's really no bitterness to speak of. There's no dryness. There's maybe a very slight residual sweetness, but for the most part, this is pretty damn clean. Yeah, this is, this is fine. This is, listen, I'll say this one more time. If you're looking for a um, American amber lager, you're looking for something that says toasted lager, 
this this is doing it for for if I was searching this style out and I was looking to drink a beer like this, this does a great job. There's no off flavors. There's nothing bad about this one. I could drink a ton of them. And yeah, it's just, it is what it is. Uh, stylistically, I'd give this almost a five out of five. Like if you're saying it's American Amber Lager, I'd give this really high. I'd say like four, seven, five, maybe four, five, four, seven, five. It's close to perfect for the style. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to think to myself, like what is any kind of negative here? Maybe I want a little bit more flavor out of this one. Uh, maybe I want it to be a little bit more crisp in the mouthfeel. So let's say like 4.5 out of five for style. My own personal preference, this isn't a style that I you know, gravitate towards. This isn't one of my favorite styles, but I can't sit here and deny that this is a well-made beer. It's pretty tasty for what it is, and I'm enjoying what's in my glass. So personal preference, remember, different between personal and style, style 4.5 out of 5. Personal preference for me, I'd give this like a high 3.5 out of 5. I'd go like 3.6 out of 5. I think it's a really well-made American Amber Lager that has good flavors. It has a really nice body to it. It's not too watery relatively clean and just it's solid that's all it is it's solid and, and uh, that's all i want this beer to be uh price and availability uh price point it was a mixed six pack so a buck 83 for the can i'd imagine six packs of this are well under ten dollars um availability wherever you get blue point i know i get them in my area i don't know how far their dis uh, distribution uh, footprint is but if you see blue point in your area this is probably one of the few beers that they have i don't see many of their beers outside of this anymore in my area which is kind of a disappointment because i like trying some of their stuff but for me uh it's a well-made beer and i'm enjoying it so 3.6 out of 5 personal preference 4.5 out of 5 for a style um ra rating pretty good let me know if you've had this one before i'd imagine quite a few of Quite a few of you have had this one. I'd like to know uh, your uh, feedback. I'd like to hear what you know you think about this beer, your thoughts. So let me know. So yeah, appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review. I'll be back tomorrow with a, another beer in this whole mix of six pack um, theme month. Tomorrow's going to be a day seven, and it's actually going to be a Western New York Wednesday. So be on the lookout. Anyway, I already posted a video showing you guys the beer, so I don't. It's not a secret. It's not a secret. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Till the next one. Cheers.